friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ross. If you are new here, uh, thank you for joining or thank you for visiting. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe and ring that, click that notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I release new videos. My name is Ross and we have a crazy handbag obsession and we talk about contemporary handbags and luxury handbags. All of them pre-loved and some of them new, but we have that crazy handbag obsession. And today, we're going to go ahead and talk about it. So I've been bitten by the Fendi bug, right? I love Fendi. I think it's a great classic, iconic pieces that they released. And I went ahead and, you know, buy, I bought this bag pre-loved in the pre-loved market. And I have a Fendi large peekaboo. And I said, you know what? I love this bag. I use it a lot. Um, I need another peekaboo, right? So this one's labeled as a medium. But it's not medium. It it's actually I feel like it's a large. Anywho. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you. And this is my first Fendi Celeria Peekaboo Monster bag. Anywho, let's go ahead and show it. I do have it here in the thing. Don't worry, she is on carpet. Well, this is my first mail bag. Anywho, right? So to talk about it, this is the Fendi um, Peekaboo. This is, I want to say, I don't know what type of leather this is, but it's the Monster Eyes Large Men's Peekaboo Iconic Satchel in Black. Whoever had it really took really good care of it because there's no damage on it. The sizing of this bag is 16 inches in length. 12.5 in height. So she's pretty big. I mean, she's a big bag and it was medium and I was like, mm. I was like, I don't, I want a medium bag. But when she arrived, I was like, Great, she's not medium. Um, whoever had it, had it in really good conditions because there's no corner wear. This has five metal feet on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. And it's quite heavy. The leather is, 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 Thick. What I like about this bag is that it's thick. It has the chunky, like, hardware. It has, you can go ahead and, um, like, clasp it, shoulder it, crossbody. She's great. I'm sorry, it's raining outside. My dog freaks out with, like, thunder. So, this is, I hadn't, I hadn't seen a, a big couple like this, and I'm kind of, like, lost for words. Because I was like, yo, I, I, I think I really need this bag. <laughs> so I went ahead and bought it because I do have the large version in women's. But I was like, I need, I need another one. So this is Celeria. And I believe all of these are handmade. Um, or like hand stitched. I'm not very like Fendi. So if you know about it, like comment below. What I like about this one, it doesn't have the, like the classic twist on it like the normal pickaboos do. This actually have a hook. Like it has a really thick hook on it that you can like just hook it and like close it up. And then like she's stuffed. So by stuffing. So these are it it does have like the Fendi peekaboo eyes on it. Look how cool those eyes look. Like, and I feel like they're holographic, so you can see on it. Ah! <laughs> I really like it when the bag slouches. Sorry, my dog is barking, freaking out with the thunder. And I really like it when, like, it slouches, and it gives you, like, that smiling or, like, that look. Look at that. She looks so cool. She looks pretty. She I shouldn't call her she because he I feel like this is a man. And then... And the interior is lined with beautiful suede leather. Well, not suede leather, but it's like suede, gorgeous suede interior. And then you have, whoever had it just really took care of it because they still have the little plastic sticker on that Fendi Celeria um, tag on it, if you can like I don't think I can see. I don't think like I can see it, but like that tag still has the plastic on it. So they took really good care of it, and I bought. Remember, I bought this one pre-loved. 
And then, the cool thing about this bag is that normally like, you s the two Fendi's or like the Fendi's have that little clasp that you turn and like, you know, click it here. This bag doesn't. So this has that hook on it that you, I feel like it has more security on it because, I mean, the, the clasp I feel like it's more secure, but this one you can just like unzip it, let it drop, show those eyes. And then the back pocket right here, it's not open. It actually has a zipper, which I think is pretty cool that it has a zipper. Because the moment you like zip it up, okay, more stuffing. Bye. Yeah, and it smells gorgeous. This is not like, like the classic Fendi's because this one actually has like a compartment here where you can put a tablet and then like it has an open compartment. So you still have, I don't know the camera's picking it up, but like you see this. And she's quite, she's, she has, he has some weight to it. And then you see Fendi, um, right here, the little thingy. Um, he has a quite, like there's weight to this bag. Um, I'm gonna say maybe calf skin is another. It's, it's very soft. It's just go he's gorgeous. Um, I really like it. I can't wait to start wearing it. But just to show you guys how big it is, this is an iPad Pro 12.9 uh, screen, and I can like fit it in the back of that of that compartment, and then I can put like more stuff in here. Remember, the bigger the bag, the more you stuff it, the heavier it gets. So it already starts having some weight. But this is the 12.9 um, iPad to show you what really like fits in it. And this is a MacBook Pro 12.9, 13 inch, 13 inch Pro MacBook. And this still fits with more um, space to it. So I want to say it's like a met Ooh, messenger bag slash briefcase. I took an ugly spill and I hurt my hand, so anything that I like put heavy on this hand like kind of still hurts, but this has some weight to it. She's, he's definitely a big boy. It's easier for me to say she, but so with this one since it's men's collection, I definitely have to say he. And then we have my iPad, which is just this like crocodile embossing that I got off of eBay. You know, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy, darling. Just something so I can edit videos and upload. And then this... So, I mean, it's, just, it's really quite spacious. You can't really see. It has that middle compartment that has that glass that you can put it here. It has that zipper compartment. I think whenever I use it, um, I'm going to use it as a... I don't know, shoulder bag, crossbody. I normally tend to use the Fendi's as a top handle. Because I love the slouchiness of this, I love it. Now I do have the large women's in a calfskin, and that one I just like leave it hanging. I put my wallet, my keys, my cell phone, everything in the back, and then um, well, like my wallet definitely goes in the back, or it goes in the zipper compartment that it's here. I put the, my wallet, my phone. And then anything that I have any easy access to, car keys and like my phone, my car keys, extended battery pack, I put in the front. And if I have something that I more valuable, I put it always in the back. So whenever I carry it, I tend to just shoulder strap it. Now I'm horrible when I carry bags like this because since I love to have it slouch, I just like to show everything. So. I've had people say like, oh my god, like your bag is great, it looks beautiful, however, like, you have easy access. And I'm like, thanks, I mean, if you're gonna go through the front to easy access, the only thing that you're gonna take is gonna be my car keys. Everything tends to be inside the pocket, or in, in, which is always gonna be zippered. You know, when I put my wallet in, inside this zipper pocket, I tend to zip it up, because everybody uses Apple Pay nowadays, so I just throw my Apple Pay and I just put my wallet here. And then I'm like, you're just going to have access to either my sunglasses in the front compartment, my sunglasses, or you're going to have access to my keys. Because <laughs> my cosmetic bag goes in the back, um, just in the back, um, extended battery pack always goes in the back in the second compartment. The front one is always just to have like a book, depends where I'm going. Um, extended battery pack is going to be in the front. 
kind of like easy access type of deal. Anything more expensive is always going to be on the back because it tends to be closer to me whenever I carry it. If I carry it as a, a top handle or if I carry it as a, a crossbody or a shoulder strap, the back is always facing me. So yeah, this is, and I'm obsessed with it because it's my first Celeria and I've heard that Celeria um, handbags are like the top of the line. You know, their couture collections or their couture selections. Um, you can open it up. That's cool. I feel like these bags are meant to be forever. And Fendi still produces a lot of the peekaboos, but they have a different iterations between like the ICU, the XL, the X Lite, the small ones. I think that you can make them to order. I mean, I've gone to Fendi and they're like, we haven't seen a bag like that in a while. You know, especially like the monsters. And somebody told me that these bags are super rare to come by, especially with the monster eyes. Um, so I saw it and I said, okay, cool, like, they're rare to come by, I want to go ahead and add it in my collection, especially if they're rare to come by. You can tell that the hardware is different from the women's, um, it's thicker than the women's collection, so I'm really excited. Let me know what you guys think on the comment below. Um, what do you guys think of this Fendi peekaboo messenger bag slash briefcase? I don't know what's the actual... Name of it. I'm really obsessed. Anywho, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. So excited. Please like, comment, subscribe, click on that notification bell, and um, leave me your comments, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao.